Oh no, it's a thirsty day for another. Uh-oh. Did we once have a dry season in our country, Twilight? I don't think so, Spike. Speaking of today's story, I'd best have a tree shower. Hello, Twilight. May I join? Yes, I can. Timmy. Another hot day on Tasman Solo, a very hot day, and the rivers are drying up. It's a real sting today, said Noddy. I don't like the looks of the puddles in the river. Phew, I'm thirsty already. Mrs. Goggins was on the lookout for Noddy, trying to keep cool. Morning, Noddy. Isn't it hot? Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Yes, it is. The rivers are dried up, and the heat wave has come again. I filled the kettle with water before it was turned off. Ah, but they can't turn off lemonade. Here, have a drink before you go. Thanks, just what I needed. It's for Cabinheim to take Tom Hicker. Oh yes, it's his computer game. The new one. I'll leave it in the back of my car. Now to deliver the village Lexus. He met Caroline and told her about the heat wave. Well, it's 
Pitchy Pitchy trying my water pump is not working, she said. It was made here a long time ago, and it's the same in the village. It was never dried up. Hmm. I wonder, said Noddy. I wonder if Ted Grimm can fix it. I heard he fix he can fix just about anything. I'll ask him. Oh, I've got to let us for twilight. Twilight was in the garden, sorting out some cabbage to take. Morning, Noddy. Found my pump? Yes, it's not working. I used to use it, but it went out of action. Well, I've got this letter for you. I'm glad I didn't drop it in the wet puddle. Oh, thank you. That's from Celestia. I've got some piano practice to do. Oh, I didn't know you could play piano. Can you play Ali? Cat. I make I invited to come as teaching me to do it. Good luck then. Now it came to the workshop to tell Ted about the pump at Sloping Main Cottage. Hello, Ted. Anyone at home? Ah, there you are. He told him about it not working. What, that pump in Twilight's place? Well, I haven't mended that for years. My water's turned off, so I might give that one a try. I'll get my tools, leave it to me. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Dee, 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 lo, bum, 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 bum. There were some letters for Princess Celestia. She was watching a little one, Twilight, play piano. I was teaching her how to play Alicat. Hello, Your Highness. Letter for you. Your country doesn't seem to have the heat wave. It's different, Noddy. Our flying ponies are in charge of the clouds. We're just about to have rain here. Earth has the clouds move themselves. How's my pump? Oh, yes, Twilight. I wonder how Ted's getting on. Hmm. Should get a bit, bit to work. That's working. Hello, Ted. Oh, thank you for getting my pump working. I can get ourselves cool from the summer by drinking its water. Not to talk a bottle for himself from Twilight's house pump. He won't get thirst in this heat wave now. I might get some swim to get. Not 
out of Australia, Series 1, Episode 9. Not as windy day. There was some strong wind in Tasman Solo. Wow! This is a hard job driving in this wind. Help! I can't see! He already passed Van. That's Van. But it nearly got blown off its wheels. Look out! Hmm. How am I going to get past this lot? said Noddy. Hello, Noddy. It was Terence on the other side. E this blasted wind! Don't oh, worry, mate. I'll soon shift it. I've just got my snow power on. I'll get out of the way. And give you a hand. No wonder it blew over. It's rotten. Hmm. I should be able to get through, said Noddy. Then went for his car. But it had gone. <gasps> oh! Where can it be? There it was, safe and sound. It was Gumby who moved it. I moved your car down the road. Not a good spot to get its paint scratched from flying branches. It is smart. My car? I got it when I found the stolen cars in Goblin Corner. Bye then. Yes, see you later. I should get a move on now. <coughs> oh. Now what? <coughs> oh. That's hard. It's that cable again. I'll soon fix that. Not it came to the school. Have the ponies been blown away? Apple Bloom and the friends are enjoying the wind. But it wanted to deliver the letters in all directions. Scooter or carted. One went on twilight. Like the hat and lash. Oh, it's my letter I caught. It's fancy dress by the way, Noddy. We brought costumes, but they got blown from the wind. We got some of it off. Look! There's more over there, on that tree. Aha, uh -huh. found it. What have you come here for, Twilight? Oh, I was looking for my bedsheet. It flew away from my clothesline. Human beings use. Uh-oh, said Apple Bloom. I think we found it, Twilight. We used it for a small stage. And we took it down when we found your two letters, T and double O. Mm, thanks, sweetie. I wondered where it went. Oh, bad not it. Come on, you'll see. I'll help with finding the new leather for your stage. <laughs>